Hi guys, welcome to another trading video. I'm your market analyst Adam Karlberg and today we're going to be having a look at the S&P 500. So the S&P 500, much the same as the Dow Jones and the Nasdaq, has been in a fairly long-term downward sloping channel as we can see on the weekly chart here. And there was some hope and optimism that this price action was heading towards the bottom and potentially breaking out. But then the market saw this rally and decided to sell down again, not yet ready to push back up. And this was also supported by a very hawkish approach from the Fed chairman, um, Jerome Powell, last week at the Jackson Hole Symposium. And we also see from a technical perspective, we fell back down over the 50-week moving average back into the channel. So as we can see on the weekly, we're in a quite, we're still in this bearish channel, um, although we're yet to break through the lows, of course. So as we move into the daily chart, and we have a closer look there, some of the things that we can see are that, firstly, we, again, like in the weekly, we weren't able to break above, fell back down the 200-day moving average, and are just currently sitting on the 50-day moving average, which is our short-term support level. Although we have broken through it, we haven't broken through it with any significant momentum just yet. In addition, as we look at the RSI, we can see we, that recent breakdown back into the channel was also at, supported by this fall of the RSI. We were in overbought territory and that you know correlates with this sell down over there. So therefore, what are we looking for? Well, with some more economic data to come out later in the week related to employment figures and non-farm payroll, that will hopefully provide the market with a little bit more information to see if this 50 period moving average is either going to hold and potentially move back up towards the top of the channel and maybe test those recent highs. Or what's prob probably more likely is that the extreme hawkish level from the Fed will continue the sell down until um, for some time, and the Fed did make quite clear that they were intending to get, you know, at, at the expense of a recession, getting inflation back to two to three percent. So we may still see the sell down until the market accurately prices in that information. But guys, it's definitely one to keep an eye on the S and P five hundred, and also related to any kind of U.S. dollar movement or any U.S. equity movement. And just be aware of the information coming out later in the week for any potential move up or down. But thank you for watching and good luck trading.